what were your memories about the Danzi, the production, the cast, the whole experience? I was a little green to be successful, which I was not. I did an okay show, but uh, I took a long time doing it, so the hours were a little lengthy. Um, I drove the actors a little nuts, um, probably from their perspective, this guy wanted too much. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Now, maybe I was right and they were all wrong, or maybe the reverse was true. I should have sized up the circumstance and behaved a little more appropriately. The four guys, the main people, I mean, I thought were inexcusable as, as to deportment and honking around and you couldn't get a rehearsal and I mean, I thought it was kind of deplorable. So maybe I was sending out those vibes and trying to get rehearsals and finally just deciding to hell with it. Let's roll and see what happens. And what happened was that the guys behaved and did their thing. And then as soon as the cut took place, they were honking around again. So it wasn't really a directing job. It was getting it done. Uh, David Dortort, the producer, writer, creator, Ramrod guy was a lovely gentleman and uh, I guess knew what was going on but just figured that was somebody else's problem. And maybe those guys just would never change that routine. And Michael Landon, God knows, certainly became a hugely responsible and successful entrepreneur in his own right. So it might have been a phase for them, for both of us. It was not a great experience, though. Dortort was delightful, and we talked about the script and, and um, got it reworked a bit in ways that I thought it should be reworked. So the bitter and the sweet in the production, the Western, it's just fun. Once upon a time, the world was clean and pure and honorable and dusty, and there were cattle and... It's just a lot of fun. Very sweet, very square. And uh, yesterday's news, let's face it. There was a big set, not unlike the Gunsmoke set, that included some exteriors within the stage. There was a lot of that. And um, then we went out for a couple days. I, I don't remember how many, literally. We went out to some you know, local, local area. And a lot of a lot of Van Nuys, a lot of San Fernando Valley was available at that time and and uh, used frequently. The foothills to the south of the freeway were really good, unbuilt up, obviously. I don't remember where literally. I'd love to go out and see what kind of developments are on some of that property. How did another long-running Western Gunsmoke and its cast compare to Bonanza? Um, much more professional. Bonanza was a kindergarten, a very successful one, but it was a kindergarten. Uh, Arnes, who set the tone for Gunsmoke, was, was a naughty boy in his humor and off work. At work, he just, he was easy, he was smart, he was humorful, he did the work, and everybody followed him. And the, man, and, and the producer, John Mantley, was a knowledgeable guy who had been a writer, an actor, a producer, a director, and now he was producing Gunsmoke. And he and Arnesco got along well, always. The show was well, well run, well produced. I had a good time three times doing it. Good, good time. And, uh, and there, was a, there was a respect that passed between everyone. I'm t There's a war story that, that goes that Arness, in one scene, not on a show I was on, hops on his horse and rides over the hill, cut, print, everybody's loading in the trucks, and he comes trotting back. And he says, wait a second, why is he leaving? And <laughs> everybody, I mean, the typewriters came out, and the thought, the thinking came out, and he knew the guy and just felt strongly about it always. Never cantankerous, never difficult, but he asked the simple question, why is he leaving? Why isn't he involving himself or whatever? And uh, they fixed it, so 
With him, it wouldn't be ego. It would be the sense of the story. That's the kind of person he is, in my view. And I didn't know him all that well, but you could just feel it on the set. Orderly, organized, principled. The shows are strong. When you see some of the old gun smokes now, sure, they're cornball. The, corn, the production is very cornball. All that light coming in from everywhere, it's pretty hideous. But, but, there's a lot of integrity, a lot of integrity with it. Good show. I enjoyed it.